Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> You're with him! Oh my god! <laughs> Good morning, guys! Welcome back to the vlogs from our journey across Japan. We are currently on our way to Himeji. Yesterday was kind of our day off. We rented a log cabin on top of Mount Roko in Kobe, and it was just really really cool it, we had a really nice time we kind of just um we relaxed we got some editing done we ate lots of really good food we went to a cafe on top of the mountain and enjoyed one of the top three night views in all of japan apparently it was it was really nice but it started to pour rain <laughs> unfortunately and now we're on our way to himeji we're gonna go to himeji castle today we're currently stopped in front of akashi kaikyo ohashi it's one of the longest suspension bridges in the world i think it's 3991 meters or something ridiculous the view is epic but it's so windy today <laughs> that's why I'm inside vlogging in the car the boys are having some bike trouble at the moment unfortunately but I think they might have figured out what the problem is <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes of Yotaro's Instagram yeah like with this angle <laughs> is that your angle yeah. no, no I don't think so <laughs> we only had like one person who's like it's so sticky to the angle and we don't need it anymore <laughs> No title is good from all angles, right? Exactly, yeah, 360 degrees proof. <laughs> I have the all-important job of waiting with the bicycles while the boys go film. I was down there <laughs> filming some shots of the bridge and this kid was fishing and he flung a bunch of bait onto my arm. And I don't have any way to wash it off and I feel really disgusting right now. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> this is so gross. It's a shame, it's such, such a gorgeous view. I have fish bait on my arm. It smells really bad. He's stressing, I'm stretching. stretching at all. I'm filming you stretching. Well, just go ahead. I want, I want the people to see this. We're back in the car. I'm wiping the fish guts off my arms and we're off to meet Chris and Yotaro at their next biking point. Well, first we need to go to the bike shop and try and fix Chris's bike because it looks like it's properly messed up and I don't think he's going to be able to use it anymore. He actually had to rent a road bike. Um, that's what he's cycling on today. <laughs> Everyone wanted him to get a road bike and it's finally happening so I guess we'll see if that one's actually better. the Asahi soft drink factory to film a clip for Chris's video and I found some shirts for my dad. My dad actually brews beer so I got him some Asahi beer shirts. I think he's gonna like them. I'm gonna have to find a post office to send them to him. Hopefully we can do that soon. I was lucky. We've made it to Himeji Castle. I've never been here before. It looks very underwhelming with this lens but it's quite beautiful. We just missed the sunset unfortunately. That would have made for some really nice photos but Really, really pretty here. Nice area. Not too many people either. So many cats here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cats. Nine, ten, eleven. All right, guys, we're all heading back to the hotel now for the night. Not much happened. Spent most of the day trying to fix the bike, um, which ultimately was unfixable. Tomorrow we're going to start back at the castle and then cycle to forget the name of the city. <laughs> it will be a surprise for both of us. I'll see you guys again soon. Good morning guys, day two of our Himeji adventure. We went out last night and we walked around town. It's a really nice little town. It's actually not that little. I think Chris looked up the population. It was like half a million or 500, something, was it? Yeah, yeah, million, right. yeah it's yeah. quite a large town, but the area we were in was kind of, it felt really chill, like Nakano Broadway actually. There was an under, like a, a roofed arcade yeah. with lots of really neat nice izakaya. izakaya. Yeah, and we had old school Japanese yeah, yeah. food for dinner, like yeah. really cheap. Yeah. Yakisoba. Yakisoba. Everything was like under 500 like, yen. Takoyaki. 
teriyaki, om rice, yeah. all the like basic Japanese foods for really cheap. For okonomiyaki, it was $3. <laughs> Dollars. I couldn't believe that. Uh, we couldn't believe it. Himeji is really cool. I wish we had more time to walk around yeah. town. The boys are going to be doing their cycle and they're going to be going to see some things, but I'll be in the car today oh, yeah. going ahead of you guys. Yeah, How are like your what, legs? What, oh, you cycled yes, a bit yesterday. Yesterday, like, we had some troubles, right? Like, you know, what? Well, <laughs> yesterday Chris, was a Chris disaster. Had, like, disaster. Like, you know, the Chris's, uh, Chris's bike was, yeah. uh, was half destroyed. Yeah. And uh, my bike, and it had like out of chain, you know, the chain. Chris's kind of bike is totaled. They, they can't even use it anymore. We yeah, have to get him like, a replacement. Exactly. Now he's on a road bike instead of uh, the mountain bike. I like having suspension because I don't know I've always ridden a, a mountain bike so I like suspension I just think it's fun <laughs> I like going over bumps and stuff. I think today we're gonna have a serious cycling. Uh oh here comes the orange helmet. No! 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 It's oh, okay. challenge time. Oh, okay. oh, he's wearing one. No, no, I'm not wearing it. Anymore, <laughs> Your Yotaro brought his own helmet because he <laughs> really didn't avoid. want to wear knew, the orange one. I knew Chris was going to like it to force me to wear that one. So I this really like, like the I like do you guys like so, the orange helmet? I think it's cool. Well, I, like, well, if, I don't you know, see the it's problem with you. the orange helmet. Did you see it on Joey? It looked really good on oh, Joey. Seriously? Yeah. It so it chooses people. Yeah. yeah maybe not on Chris. It hates huh? Chris, it I hates think. Chris, yeah. Yes. So I'll show you around. This is our, our new friend Hide. He Hello. Comes, hi. <laughs> he comes to Himeji twice a month to meet foreigners and practice his English, which is wonderful. He's not confident, but it's I perfect. I mean, volunteer guide. Free volunteer guide after oh, I did, uh, I, Retired my job. Oh, that's really uh, five sweet. Five years ago. Oh, yeah. so you just come here and you find so, foreigners. So that's why I said hello to international traveler, uh, especially Canadian and oh, especially yeah. beauties. Oh. <laughs> where do you recommend that we go if we don't have much time here? Where would be the best place uh, oh, to visit? We are here. This is a fish monument. Fish monument. And on top of the the, yes, the, the top same thing. So shachihoko. Ah, shachihoko, ne. Uh, many uh, travelers uh, take a picture here take a photo there. and uh, and uh, <laughs> like, like copy this. the pose. <laughs> so you can keep it. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's lovely. あ、もうね。え、残念。じゃあ、えっと、エミ様のソーダとえ、フランボワ。まず1つずつにしますうん、それだけ買うとなんか少ないな。あ、じゃあ、カリンとお、1つずつ。あ、これも面白いね。小
that you can get in the West. So really, I just recommend that you buy it and try it if you come to Japan. Or if you have a Japanese grocery store that sells karito. Usually they come in big bags, but if you get them at a proper wagashi-san, they'll taste even better. The team's all back together. How was your cycle, Ryotaro? Oh, doing great. There's uh, some breeze and it's not too hot like yesterday. Yeah. And also the uh, the the road we've been you know biking um has not has not been like the steep. Not too steep. Not too steep. So uh, nice. it's been really well done actually. Good. Yeah. We've stopped now to get some drone shots. We're in yep. a really beautiful rural area. Yeah. The colors are gorgeous. I was just saying it's too bad the leaves haven't changed color down here in uh, the southern part. Up, yeah. up north, all the leaves have changed color already. Yeah. It's so nice. Now up it's in the season. Yeah, but it hasn't caught up to the area we're in yet. It's Maybe in about just starting. Month? In about yeah. month, I think? <laughs> when we're gone. <laughs> That's too bad. It's too bad, but it's still really beautiful here. Gonna get some cool drone shots, I think. We stopped to get some seafood barbecue now. Nice views again. This whole area is really beautiful. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. So we are now at the uh, uh, the place called, I don't know the name, but anyway, so we are at the seafood barbecue place. So you can get to choose the fish and shellfish, whatever that is, and then and do the barbie. <laughs> what is this? Dry something. Looks, Some, something's been dried, that's what. It kind of looks like hidame, you know? It Come looks on. like oh, something out of a small. horror movie. Small. Wow. With the people of Instagram, <laughs> the people of Instagram thought this idea up. I bet they never knew that it would be this, this brilliant. You, and then, <laughs> what do you think of this, guys? To, to the people, uh, to the people watching this, to all of you watching this, how do you feel about this? Is it weird? Is it brilliant? If you could sum it up in one word, <laughs> but you know what I should do? I should do this so I can get grease. Oh, there you go. There you go. Go get his bad side. Go get his bad side. Juicy. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna check into our hotel for the night. It's a really cool street, full of traditional style hotels. Excited to see what our our rooms look like. Guess I will say goodbye here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye. Beans. <laughs> <laughs>